Hello, everyone. Welcome to this month's 50 minute reformer class. Let's hang out again. Hi, I'm Rachel Piper, and this month's theme is Let's Hang Out Again, because earlier this year, I did uh, a couple of 30-minute classes, the 30-minute mat and the 30-minute reformer, and we focused on grip strength, how our arms connected to our back, um, and all of those connections that we may not normally think about while we're doing our work. So we might be focusing on our feet, um, instead of our hands or our arm connection. And so this entire month, we get to play with the concept of how we're going to use our hands, what position they're in, are our wrist straight, are our knuckles reaching, are our arms connected to our back? Um, are we, we'll also be working those hanging muscles. So if you like monkey bars, you know, uh, hanging muscles, um, all the good things that can help us with grip strength and just overall um, upper body work. So um, let's go ahead and get started. It's going to be so much fun. I guarantee it. You are going to need your your pull. So your reformer pull, preferably the shorter one, the longer one might get a little, little crazy, um, but you can go ahead and try it. But you can also substitute a broom handle if for some reason your reformer did not come with uh, a pull. So let's start. One spring footwork. So pick your favorite spring. I like one heavy. And we're going to go ahead and lie back. And we're going to get a little cozy here. And the reason that we're, we're on one spring is because we're going to have our arms up. So instead of having them down and reaching, uh, we're just going to have them reaching toward the ceiling. So I want you to have your hands about uh, a little wider than shoulder width, and then I want those knuckles to be reaching up to the ceiling, and I want you to put pressure in your pinky side of your hand. Okay, that's going to light up the entire back of your arm. So the more that you do that throughout the workout, um, the more fun it will be. Okay, we're in our Pilates V. We're pressing the top of the back of the head in, and we're going to press ourselves out, and we're going to bring ourselves home. Nice big inhales and exhales, and your focus here is to try and keep those knuckles reaching as you inhale out and exhale in. Of course, you still want to do all the things that you normally do, like, you know, keep your heels slightly lifted, keep some nice space in that neck, breathe into the back of your ribs, all that good stuff. But right now you're actively pulling the pull apart, but not so much so that you're going to get tired by the time we're done with our footwork. The last one in, you're going to pick those feet up. You're going to place your arches on. You're going to curl the toes over, heels under, and do the same exact thing. Okay, if your arms are getting tired here, that's just information for you, and that's okay. You can rest by bringing the arms down a little bit. What I want you to do here is maybe you think about bringing them down next to you. Knuckles are still pointing up toward the ceiling, but you're still actively pulling that pull away. This gives you another option. You know, if it's too much here, you get to pick your journey. So you're going to bring those arms down and still focus on nice straight wrists and those knuckles pointing up. We're going to do one more out, back in, and then we're going to pick those heels up, whoo, point the toes towards the ceiling, and go ahead and pick your arm position for this one. Now, if you want to do half in one position and half in the other position, that's fine, too. Okay? <sighs> Love being able to pick that journey, right? We're all on our own journey, and we all need to be able to, to do what we need to do to feel good in our bodies. Yes. And if we don't start feeling good, then how long are we going to work out? Who knows? But we are here to feel amazing and powerful. And I'm going to try and say powerful more this class than usual, only because when we have this pull in our hands, we have that upper body strength and we have that connection. And that is such a powerful thing for us to have. Bring it in. 
take the balls of the feet down, press yourself out, and let's just do some heel lowers and lifts. Again, you can pick your journey. If you wanna come down here, pull the pull apart down here. Oh, that feels really nice. It's different, but still work. Still feeling good. All right, so yep, you get to pick that, and we're just doing in parallel lower and lifts, connecting that back body. Then we're gonna go ahead, bend the knees, come in. And then if you need to scoot down just a little bit, we're gonna stay in the same position and do the 100. As we press out, I want you to come up into that upper ab curl if that's there for you. Can keep your head down, and I want you to start pumping those arms. As you pump those arms, I want you to send those knuckles away from you. Like you're shooting lasers at your knuckles across the room, all right? You can be in a Pilates V or parallel with those feet. However, you can stay connected to the, your back body and your booty, that's what you need to do. Again, picking the journey and being powerful right away. We are totally rocking this workout already. Nice big inhale for five, and exhale for five. We're gonna do two more. I know it seems like a lot, pressing or pulling apart that bar while we're working those arms. Whew, it is something. Last exhale. Bring yourself up, and then you're gonna go ahead, come up, but you're gonna keep your pull. You're gonna put your foot rest down. So options here. So you're gonna have two springs on for your short spine or your overhead, and you're gonna need a sticky pad. You're still gonna need this pull. So your options are, you can do your regular overhead. You're not gonna use the pull. You can use the pull, the setup that I do for short spine, and just take your legs over and back without the straps, or we're gonna do short spine version one. We will do it later as well. So two springs. You're gonna lift yourself up, put your pad under, and then you're gonna put your pole underneath your sacrum. And you're gonna put your headrest down, and you're gonna get yourself into your short spine. Or if you're doing overhead, you can just go ahead and start that business. Um, you want this up, which is uncomfortable for right now, but I don't want it to slide away from you, because when I was practicing, it slid away from me. Okay, and you're gonna get into position. Now, I want you to have that pull so that you can be nice and wide at the ends and your arms are equal ways out from the body, okay? Then you're just gonna press the pull away and just like we did with the 100, we're gonna shoot those knuckles across the room and we're gonna widen that grip. We're gonna press down into that pull as we pull it apart. Go ahead and do maybe two frogs here and if you're doing overhead because that was your choice, just go ahead and keep doing it and stand in those handles. Now we're gonna go into short spine, press it out, lift up, press down into that pull, pull it apart, bring the knees down, keep the legs up, the feet up as long as possible, bring the spine down, then bring the heels down and press it back out into the next one. So as we do this movement, and if you have a favorite variation of short spine, Go ahead and do that. I am totally cool with that. Um, but I want you to really feel how wide your back can get when you are reaching those hands away, pressing that pull apart, and pushing down on that bar. Okay, let's go ahead and roll it down again. Okay, and let's do one more. Pull that pull apart, bring the knees down, press that pull into the mat, bring the legs down. Okay, so you're gonna have to put this underneath in that uncomfortable spot for a second because we're gonna lift off and then we're gonna have to go into our coordination, which is a little less graceful than normal, but go ahead and put your pull and your sticky pad down and I want you to meet me in your favorite coordination. Here, coordination. I'm gonna be up in my upper ab curl and instead of having my fingers pointed to the ceiling today, I'm gonna go ahead and be um, a boxer. I'm going to I'm gonna take these handles into my hands and I'm going to reach those knuckles up toward the ceiling to start. Inhale, press away. The knuckles go away from me. Open, close the legs, pull the legs in, bring the arms in, knuckles go up toward the ceiling. Press it away, open, close, 
bring the knees in, then bring the arms in. We got three more here. I want you to stand in those handles. And what does that feel like? Go out again, hold out right here. You're pressing into those handles. You're standing in them. Pull the legs in, and then pull the arms in. Last one, take it out, open, close, pull the legs in, pull the arms in. Take them into both hands, pop yourself up if that's there for you. 